What is up guys, Tyler Casey here, and today I'm gonna to show you how I created this VHS video collage effect. Check it out. I teamed up with Adobe to create that effect and show you guys how I created it in After Effects. So here we are in After Effects. Here's my main clip. Let's go ahead and play that. And you can see I just have the slowed down version of my clip and we're just doing a simple push in here. First thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is I'm gonna to wanna to duplicate that, Control D or Command D, and then I'm gonna rename that. I'm gonna name that one Roto. Uh, I'm gonna click this one, and then the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do there is track camera. Once the 3D camera tracker is done, we can actually zoom in here. And let me go ahead and put this up to full resolution. And we can see some points that we could grab here. So you just wanna make sure the points are there the entire time. Uh, pretty much all these should be good. So I'm just gonna grab a chunk on his chest right there. And I'm gonna hit create null and camera. So we should be all set there. Now on this roto layer, let's go ahead and do the rotoscope. Uh, so we're gonna double click in there. We wanna make sure you're on full uh, resolution. And I'm gonna zoom in here and I'm going to trace out my subject. All right, so I'm gonna hold Alt or Option, depending if you're on Mac or PC. And right there, I'm just cleaning it up a little bit just to make sure what I have selected is what I want. So now that you have your subject cleaned up, you can pretty much just jump to the end and let Roto 3.0 work, it's magic. So we got to the end, Rotoscope 3.0 did a great job. We're gonna hit freeze. So to track in the VHS clips, it's actually pretty easy. So I have this glitchy building right here. And one thing I wanna do is, that, let's just say I wanna put that behind him. So I'm gonna make sure that's in between the Roto and the main layer. And then I'm gonna to wanna to hit this right here to turn it into a 3D object. Um, and I'm just gonna hit S on my keyboard and scale that all the way up. If I move it, you can see we're behind our subject now, which is perfect. Then what I'm gonna wanna do is I'm going to want to link this to my null. So you can see that is tracking in with us and I don't want it to go that long, it's glitchy. So one thing that I'm gonna do is I'm also gonna make some cuts and I am going to change this blending mode to, let's try add. And then so if I play that, it's going to flash in. We could also just do another one. Let me just make another cut right here. And let me change that one to add as well. So when that plays, let's go here. You can see it kind of flickers in a little bit. So to get a VHS clip in the foreground, let's go ahead and do that. I brought this tree in. Same thing, we're gonna hit the cube right there, make it a 3D object. We're gonna link it to the null. And then what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna bring that all the way forward. And then we're gonna scale that up real nice and big. And I just wanna tilt that, kinda of get it even. Let's say we want this at the upper right. And if we play just like that, it's gonna pass the screen, very easy. That's it for today's tutorial. I hope you found this helpful. I'm Tyler Casey, I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.